Hi, I'm Steve Rapaski, EAS Certified Master Beekeeper and owner here at Meadowsweet Apiaries in Western Pennsylvania. I'm here today to talk to you about a brand new product to the U.S. market for the sublimation of oxalic acid and the treatment of Varroa mites. The product we have is called the Verox Eddy. The Verox Eddy is produced by Andermatt BioVet and carried by Oxivap.com here in the United States. This unit's very different from any of the other oxalic acid vaporization units that are on the market in that it's battery powered and rechargeable. So it makes it very convenient and very portable. Let's take a closer look in the bee yard and see what this product looks like and how it's used. Many of you are familiar with sublimation of oxalic acid to control varroa mites. Well, the product I have for you today is going to make your life much, much easier. Besides the handy dandy little carrying case that it comes in and everything's self-contained, the greatest thing about this product is that it's battery powered. And I'm not talking about the lawnmower type. I'm talking about the rechargeable cordless drill type of battery that's going to make everybody's life a little bit easier in controlling mites. So when we get into this product here, as I mentioned, it has a nice self-contained carrying case. We open it up and first and foremost, you'll have your directions on how to install and charge it. The product itself is a very nice, slim design and the battery, very nice, very contained, very easy to install on the unit. Now this product is battery powered, so it needs a charging cable. This is a, a, an outlet charger, it just plugs right into the back of the unit itself. It does come with two cups to place your oxalic acid into, so you could swap them out as one gets hot. You could replace it with a cooler version. And it also comes with a nice little measuring scoop to measure out your oxalic acid. Now, as I mentioned, this unit is battery powered. So when you first get this package, you need to charge your battery fully, typically about two to four hours before it becomes fully charged. Once it's fully charged, it's capable of treating upwards of 10 to 15 colonies uh, with oxalic acid before it needs to be recharged. So if you have only a few colonies in your backyard, this is a unit for you. Let's take a look to see how we actually would use this unit in the field. So the unit itself is ready to go. My battery is fully charged. I've got my metal bowl in place. I'm going to get my proper dose of oxalic acid, which is one gram per deep hive body. So we're gonna put that right in there. Once we're ready to go and, and it's primed and charged, we'll just slide this right into the entrance of the colony. We're gonna to want to stuff the entrance with a towel or a rag to prevent the oxalic acid from coming out through the entrance. You'll also want to close off any screen bottoms that you may have installed in your colony. Once the Verox Eddy is installed and your towels are in place, you'll wanna go ahead and turn the unit on by pressing this on off button for a few seconds until your lights turn green. This means that your unit is now in standby mode. These four lights are your battery indicator showing a full strength battery. Your heat indicator shows green meaning standby and your on off button is also green indicating standby. Now in order to turn the vaporizer on and start heating your oxalic acid, you're just going to press this on off button once until it starts to blink. Now you see that your green light is blinking indicating the unit is in heat mode. Your heat indicator has turned into an orangish red to also indicate it's in heat mode. Once the sublimation starts, it's going to take about two to three minutes from start to finish. One of the things you're going to strongly consider when using a vaporizer to sublimate oxalic acid is the use of personal protection equipment. PPE is strongly encouraged to avoid any type of mishandling and any kind of damage to your body from the sublimation of oxalic acid. It can be very toxic to you. So it's recommended that you have a respirator that is rated for organic acids. You'll want to have eye protection so you don't splash or get any oxalic crystals in your eye, and certainly gloves to protect your hands from this acid. Once the sublimation is complete, you'll see that the unit has switched to a cool down mode where the on off light has now switched to a blue blinking light. The heating indicator has turned from a reddish orange to a pinkish color, and this indicates that the unit is in cool down mode. It all depends on your ambient air temperature, how hot the unit is. Uh, you know, the colder it is outside, the faster it'll cool down. Once the unit is fully and completely cooled down, you'll see the status indicator lights turn back to green. It is now safe to go ahead and remove 
the, the rags and the towels and start to process all over again. There you have it, the Verox Eddy, the newest addition to oxalic acid vaporizers here in the United States, made by Andermatt BioVet, carried by Oxivap.com. It's portable, it's convenient, and most importantly, it works. You can treat about 10 to 15 colonies on a fully, fully charged battery. It takes about two to four hours to recharge that battery. Great addition to the toolbox of the backyard beekeeper that has a few hives, 10 hives or so, and wants to have a very useful very convenient way of treating their colonies with oxalic acid without having to lug around lawnmower batteries and putting out 100 foot extension cords, those types of things. Check it out, oxabap.com, the Verox Eddy, the newest addition to oxalic acid vaporizers here in the United States, battery powered.